The Fortnite Metaverse was meant to be the next evolution of Fortnite, and we were told by Epic that this was the future for the game. But now, seemingly, all these games that were added as a part of this new Metaverse thing have declined massively in their player count, and people are really not a fan of the Metaverse. Many people now consider the Metaverse to be a massive failure, and are happy to see its downfall. So what really happened here? Well, a lot of things did, and in today's rant, I'll try to explain why the Metaverse is failing, and my opinion on this whole situation. Enjoy. So to truly understand where this metaverse thing really started, we have to go back to Fortnite OG with the Big Bang live event. This live event was basically promised to be like the Eminem concert, we're gonna see a bunch of Eminem songs and it's gonna be cool, but it ended up being something very different. This whole live event was basically just a trailer for the new metaverse. We saw like a Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Fortnite Festival. And it was basically to give us a taste of what the next chapter will involve with this whole metaverse and to see how these games would truly work. And I'll be honest, this live event was not that great because it was more like a trailer than an actual event, but many people did like it and got really excited for chapter 5 because of this live event. And I can tell you there's massive hype behind this chapter, and I think many people were just really excited to see the metaverse and no one was really negative about it. Like having these massive game modes inside of the game that are free sounded amazing. And I'll tell you, when they actually came out, at first they kind of were amazing and I think people really did like them. And to start off, we got Fortnite Festival. And if you know Rock Band and Guitar Hero, this is basically that. I think it's actually developed by one of those studios that made those games, so it's actually kind of cool. It's like a rhythm game. You tap the keyboard on the right time, on the right notes while listening to certain songs. And what's unique is that you can have your funny Fortnite skins in there, like Slurp Chicken, for example. And I thought this was really cool in the beginning. I thought it was really fun. and something that definitely added to the whole experience of Fortnite. But this game mode did not really maintain the the player count for very long at all, as it now has around 10k players daily, whereas before the peak was 800k, so it's quite a big fall, but it's normal that a game will loses a lot of players, like that is completely expected, but by this much is kind of insane. But I feel like this is because of a couple reasons. Number one being, you have to spend an insane amount of money to keep up with all these new jam tracks. There's about like 200 of them costing 500 V-Bucks each, and you probably have to spend over 100k V-Bucks to get all the jam tracks. And number two, there's so many cosmetics here like guitars, mic stands, and drum kits. And they also cost a lot of V-Bucks too. So if you really wanted everything here, you'd probably spend like thousands of dollars, which is kind of insane. And this is just too much for a casual player to handle, and you'd have to spend a lot of money to just keep up a few tracks that you might want to play. And I feel like this game mode can get pretty repetitive too. You don't really have many stages to choose from. There's not an it does get kind of boring. But what they did add was this battle game mode where you could fight each other while playing these songs and that was really cool and I think that was a nice addition but that didn't seem to help the player count whatsoever really. And it's quite sad because they put a lot of work into it it seems. They have a bunch of artists like The Weeknd or Billie Eilish coming in Fortnite Festival and these are really popular names so they're putting quite a bit of money into this and it's sad that it's not doing that well. And the same can definitely be said for Rocket Racing. And most of the time Rocket Racing is even getting less players than Fortnite Festival, normally being less than 10k every day. And it's not really hard to see why. Rocket Racing is basically just like an arcade racing game with a bunch of Rocket League mechanics like boost or jumping with the car and it's quite cool. I like the concept a lot and I think it was pretty fun in the first couple of weeks when I did play it because I'm a really big fan of racing games. So this really seemed to be a game for me. But the problem here is that it's just not enough content in it. Like, like, there's not many maps, there's no other styles of game mode apart from like ranked and like and doing different timed runs so you can improve your speed. It's all the same, there's no other style of gameplay, it's just you racing on track all the time and that does get problematic because it is very repetitive. Not to mention that the skill ceiling here is pretty high. I've seen some of the Unreal ranked gameplay here and it's kind of insane and I, I would not be able to keep up, let's just say that. And it seems like they have kind of given up on it too, like there's rarely any updates, there's no posts about it really and I'm pretty sure they cancelled the seasons for Rocket Racing which is insane it kind of shows that it's not doing very well at all and it's pretty bad because they actually took the Rocket League developers themselves to develop this and as a result Rocket League got horrible updates too so this is not very good for anyone and I'll be honest if I really wanted to play a casual cartoony racing mode 
I'll just play Mario Kart. That is way better and just super fun to play. And of course, next we have Lego Fortnite itself. Now this one is a bit of a different story as it does do a lot better than the rest of the metaverse game modes. Right now sitting at around 50k players, which I'll be honest, that's pretty good. But Lego Fortnite wasn't without its massive downfall too for a moment. It had a peak of around 2.4 million players, which is insane. It's quite like wow but not very soon after it declined massively and over time just lost more and more players but once again not very surprising this has to happen to every game at some point but i feel like it happened a little quicker here due to the gameplay maybe being a bit basic one thing i can think of is that there's no real boss ending to lego fortnite like when you play it you, you don't reach like a final dimension where you like kill like a big boss like minecraft for example and that does mean a lot to people it really means that you have to work your way up, you really have to build up your gear, get stronger, and truly prepare yourself for this fight. Whereas here, you just kind of do whatever, you just kind of go around mining stuff and that's it. And that's the biggest problem with LEGO Fortnite, the gameplay originally was a bit too basic. It was like the base of a good game, but it wasn't really done yet. And I feel like had it been worked on for like half a year, one year more, this could be way better and way more popular. But recently they had this massive update, adding Clombo, a whole new biome, and many more things. And this was quite popular among players. And, and it's clear to me that LEGO Fortnite is here to stay because it does actually have people playing it, which I'm not really sure I could say about Rocket Racing or Fortnite Festival. And as a part of this whole metaverse thing, we also have Creative 2.0. And this basically was an update to Fortnite that happened around a year and a half ago, where creators basically got better tools to create just better and cooler Fortnite maps overall. And it was pretty cool. And this was basically Fortnite wanting to be Roblox, being a platform where creators can make their own game and get a huge amount of money from it. But now it's just really just turned into brain rot. Like you see how many maps and how much AI you see, and it's just horrible. You see GTA droppers, you see brain rot box fights, and it really makes me question like where did this all go wrong? Like how did this happen? And it's just so lazy too. Like these are very easy to make. Like even as someone who does not make maps, I can tell you this is just super lazy. And these people are making so much money from these lazy brain rot maps, it's actually insane. And it's kind of upsetting because it takes away from the actual map creators that do really high effort content and really good game was really pushing creative. But instead, brain rot maps are the ones of all the players and it's pretty bad. So as for the other metaverse game modes that could be added, we of course got Reload which was added and was a huge success. People loved it and it was a really great addition. And I think this could be counted as part of the metaverse game mode because seemingly it's not an LTM, it's here to stay, which is really sick. And due to its success, I can't really tell whether they will continue making these style of game modes or if they'll just abandon them completely because Reload is set to have a lot of updates coming quite soon, possibly a whole new map getting added. And it's clear to me that Reload will be here for quite a while. So it's really hard to say whether they are gonna risk creating more game modes, because keep in mind, it costs a lot of money. Like it's a really big risk for them, but it's hard to say for sure. Maybe they will keep it up or maybe not. So what really happened here? Why is the metaverse failing? Well, it's kind of hard to say at times, but a lot of it is due to the lack of updates within these game modes, or just content that is very repetitive gameplay, too much greediness, it's a lot of things. And it could just be that people are just not a fan of the metaverse at all. I know for a fact I'm not. And in a way, it's kind of unfortunate that they spend this much time and money in these game modes just for them to have 10k players. Literal brain rot maps have more players. But I'll be honest, they'll probably keep going with the metaverse game modes. Like, they have the money to risk it all. They, I don't think it really matters to them that they're not getting that many players. But we'll just have to see in the future. Maybe Chapter 6 will be even more metaverse game modes. Who knows? But yeah, that's it. Sorry for my little rant. I just wanted to talk about the metaverse. And subscribe as always. Like the video. And see you next time.